Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome to this episode of my YouTube channel named Jim's 5am Club. It's a quarter to six on this uh, Thursday morning and as you can see it's wet, wet, wet. It absolutely poured yesterday and today is going to be no different if not even worse but uh, that's been the theme for 2022 it's been a wet summer it's been a wet autumn so far and uh, great weather for ducks great weather for our gardens but uh, we just need to make the most of it and uh, because it's so wet I'm not going to even bother trying to uh, go for a walk and talk. I'm just going to stand here on uh, walk number five, I think it is, and um, just take my time and go through a book summary. And today's book summary is an absolute cracker. It just never ceases to amaze me how lucky I am with the internet, that there are so many sites that have free book summaries and all I need to do on a daily basis is to hop on a bus, open up a website, pick a book, any book, and I've done over a thousand so far. And today I picked a one, one, an interesting one based on its title, entitled The Drunkard's Way. The Drunkard's Way. Didn't know, didn't quite know what to expect with this one here, and it's a book written by an author named Leonard uh, Mlodinow. But it's proved to be a, a, a fantastic find, a great book, a book, as I said, that I probably wouldn't select off a bookshelf, I wouldn't buy if I was in Dimex, but now that I've read it, I am fascinated indeed. And this book is all about celebrating the randomness of life and not taking ourselves too seriously, um, especially when it comes to our achievements and to our successes. Because what the author here does, cleverly does, I may add, is he, he talks about the importance that chance and randomness has in our everyday life. And it's some, something that most people don't like to acknowledge because their egos don't allow them to acknowledge how random acts and how luck has played an important uh, part of their life. Simply being in the right place at the right time with the right skills has eventuated in them um, doing something extraordinary. Something that if they weren't there, somebody else would have picked up the reins and picked up the opportunity and run with it. But as haphazard as luck is, um, it blesses some and it avoids many others. So uh, let's see where this book takes us. The Drunkard's Walk. And I guess the Drunkard's Walk is a lovely sort of uh, uh, image, or it employs a, a lovely imagery. And for those of us who have uh, had a few drinks too many and have had a wobbly boot, uh, you'll know what the Drunkard's Walk um, feels like or looks like when you see others. It's more of a staggering, meandering path where you know it's one step forward, two steps back, one to the left, three to the right, but it basically um, generates uh, an image of uh, not being linear or organized or planned in any way, but being um, here, there and everywhere. So let's see what this book talks about. And the author kicks off with a, a wonderful creative um, view and observation 
where he basically says that it's important to understand, it's important for each of us to understand that many successes, many successes that you see in the world, uh, people who become movie stars, people who become pop stars, people who become social media influencers, a lot of that sort of thing is, uh, is influenced more by randomness than by the ele other elements such as talent and skill. Um, and I guess the, uh, the movie Forrest Gump is something that highlights this to a certain extent where Forrest Gump just seems to have popped up in the right place at the right time and uh, was very, very fortunate that each of these random occurrences actually led him to, uh, to greatness um, from the movie's perspective. So let me just go down here a little bit further because it is a bit windy and a bit buffety. So I don't want it to impact the acoustics on this uh, vlog this morning. Uh, because as I said, it's a great book. It's an interesting read, an interesting find and a random, a random find. Because as I said, I wouldn't have picked up this book off the shelf. I wouldn't have bought it. I wouldn't have selected it under normal circumstances. But um, as luck has it, I did come across it and I do want to make the most of it now that I've got it. So let me just stand here for the time being and we'll see how we go. So the author makes a bold point where he says that it's, it's important to understand that many successes are influenced more by random elements than any talent or skill. So randomness is a, a big part of our lives. And for those who go fishing, for those who gamble, for those who um, do lots of things in their life, you know, you, uh, you, 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 you do realize that there is a lot of randomness that comes into it and things just happen. But yet we'll claim that it happened because we did the right thing, we did the right research and uh, our ego basically um, tries to get us to, um, to admit that it was based on our brilliance and our greatness rather than just pure luck that would have uh, um, um, showered others with glory had they been in the, at the same place at the same time. So what the author then goes on to say is that uh, it's important to understand and to and to realize that past successes that we have um, don't necessarily translate into future successes. Just because it worked once, just because it worked in the past, doesn't necessarily mean that it will continue to work in the future. Um, so uh, don't think that just because you were lucky once you're going to be lucky time and time again. Um, so many successes, as we said, are influenced by random elements, including chance encounters, um, rather than any talent or skill that you have, and therefore, and therefore, make it unrepeatable. Um, you can take somebody um, who was successful in a business and you see lots of people, they retire and they take on something else. They'll do another sport. Um, Ash Barty, for example, great at tennis, um, an outstanding um, uh, Australian, uh, very, very um, uh, likable and uh, a brilliant sort of uh, athlete. And yet she retired early from her sport um, and we'll see. And we'll see how she goes from here on in uh, because the luck and the random um, benefits that you uh, get um, don't always follow you from sport to sport and from endeavor to endeavor so um, at which doesn't necessarily make it repeatable so the successes that she's received so far in her life um, 
may come again, but they may not come again, I guess is the key message from this book. So the author needs uh, talks to us here that we sometimes need to unblock ourselves and allow serendipity and chance and luck to manifest itself in a magnificent way. Um, you know, many times, you know, just doing nothing and being lucky um, is itself a gift from God. You know, sometimes. Uh, and we hate to admit it, that um, you know, we are just um, lucky. I, I don't know how to put it. You know, it's God's gift. It's God's will that something happens or that something doesn't happen. You know, luck doesn't mean that, some, that, uh, that uh, you're fortunate because something happens. Lucky could also be uh, that you're fortunate that something doesn't happen. You're not in the right place or the right at the right time that other people may think and you miss out on an opportunity, but missing out on that opportunity may have been the greatest fortune, may have, may have been the greatest luck that you've ever, ever received because it didn't take you down a path that would lead you to pain and suffering and destruction. And destruction. So, um, the important thing I guess the author is trying to say here is that don't get carried away uh, by missing out on things because missing out on things could be a, uh, a gift, could, be, uh, uh, could prove that you're very, very lucky uh, indeed. Missing out on a relationship, missing out on meeting a particular girl or a particular boy may work to your favour in the long term. Um, and I guess a lot of people who divorce you know, look back over their lives and uh, rue the moment that they met their partner or they, they met a certain group of people because it ended up being the worst um, uh, meeting um, in their lives. So we also need to understand that there is more to success than just the simple stories and narratives that are spun by people. Um, because people will never tell you that they were successful because they were lucky. They will always spin it so that it sounds like they achieved what they achieved because of their brilliance. They did it because they were, the, you know, they were destined to, uh, to do it and be it. Um, but there is much happening in the background that many of us are unaware of and um, you know there's more to it you know you can make yourself lucky the author admits by you know being out there by by turning up by being present by being involved just like in the movie Titanic um, where um, Leonardo DiCaprio said you know I'm involved you know, you're in that place, you see something, something happens, and all of a sudden you become involved without even intending to get involved. Um, life has a way of uh, involving you. And uh, once you get involved, uh, you either have to participate or not participate. And participating will uh, create first, second, and third level consequences. Uh, which will take you on a different path and not participating will also create first, second and third level consequences which will lead you down another path. So either way, um, uh, choices are made and outcomes are, uh, are manifest. I often tell my broker, my share broker, for those who know me well, I trade shares on a daily basis. And I, I tell him that our goal is to position ourselves in front of explosive growth and to keep on showing up and having a go and to also be a moving target. Uh, keep on moving, keep on trading so that we don't get caught in a, um, in, in, in a problem situation. Try and bank our profits as often as we can 
because the objective is to survive and by surviving will most definitely thrive. So um, as we said, you know, chance encounters, um, meeting somebody, somebody saying something to you, seeing somebody, somebody do something which inspires you, all of these things uh, in many ways for many of us are chance encounters and as we said most people fail to admit that their success is based on a, a couple of chance encounters and a, 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 a dappling of luck but um, you know it's the people who are down to earth you know, some people do admit that uh, they've been very fortunate in their lives in terms of meeting the love of their life and um, doing something which took them on a path and became their career. They started a business, met a business partner, or whatever it is. But these things don't happen because you plan them to the nth degree. Because as we said, you know, the people who try and plan things, the schemers, are the ones who just you know, get to a certain point and then everything just falls apart. Uh, there's a limit to how much you can control in your life and how much you can control in the world. And uh, sooner or later, um, life will throw a curveball at you and you need to be able to respond to that curveball um, in order to uh, take you to another place and another time. So the author's last formal point is that by increasing your attempts at success, you will increase your chances of success as well. So just keep on turning up. Uh, you just don't know, um, as a salesperson for example, uh, which door is going to open for you, which phone call, uh, which connection, which meeting is going to take you um, on, a, on a path for, for greater outcomes. So you just got to keep on knocking at the door, you just got to keep on uh, making those calls, you've got to keep on uh, making those uh, introductions and connections with people. And sooner or, la sooner or later, what the author says, it's a numbers game. Sooner or later, luck will come your way or an opportunity will come your way and you will be invited to either take up that opportunity or turn down that opportunity but at, at that point you're making a decision you're making a choice and that choice will either um, reward you or take you down another path or you know um, punish you but uh, at any point in time I think the important thing to understand is that regardless of what choice you make Regardless of what punishments you receive, you can change path. You can change your decisions and, uh, and, and make amends. So you're not stuck um, in a decision. You can change a decision. But uh, as we said, each and every decision point has its first, second and third level consequences. So in hindsight, the one thing that works uh, well uh, often seems obvious, you know, but uh, it's later in life that you realise uh, what, what, what the obvious things are. Um, and when people were advising you and telling you and suggesting that what you do and you just kept on ignoring them, um, that's when you realise that uh, had you taken their advice, your life may have been a little bit different, may have been a lot different. But by the same token, as we said, um, because each of, our, each of us will live a different past, will live a different present, I am here, you are there, and will experience a different future, um, it, doesn't it doesn't mean that if it worked for your uncle, if it worked for your brother or sister, if it worked for your parents, if it worked for your school teacher, it's going to work for you. Um, each person has to map out and to work out their own path in life and each person will have different reward rewards just like when you go to a wharf and you see a hundred people fishing off that wharf they could be using the same bait 
the same line, the same hook, but not everybody's going to be rewarded with the big fish or the volume of fish, um, regardless of how skillful they are. Because fishing, just like everything else in our lives, um, has an art, has a science, but there's also luck involved. The fish has got to see your bait and pick up your bait, put it in its mouth and set the hook. So uh, that, you know, you can influence that to a certain extent, but the randomness of the, fi the fish swimming to your hook, to your bait, is something which is outside of your control and something which sometimes you just need to accept that it's based on luck. But the more, ch the more tries you get, chances are the more lucky you may end up being. So um, the important thing is to give up only when you're finished, you know, to, uh, to have a crack, have a go, uh, to make sure that you've got enough momentum to get over the, uh, the speed hump, the, the, uh, the hump in the road, because each road has a hump in it. And if you haven't got enough momentum, you'll probably give up before you uh, can get over that hump and uh, you know, go on a nice sort of uh, trip. So it's important to have momentum, to, uh, to live with passion, to live with purpose, and to, uh, to move in a purposeful way so that you've got the momentum to get through those initial challenges, through those initial problems that admittedly stop most people in their track so we need to uh, embrace and respect chance, respect it, understand that God's will um, is an important part. And, and hopefully uh, we, will, uh, you know, we will see the signs and know that, um, you know that by trying something and failing may mean that we need to try something else. Uh, by all means, try again and again. But there comes a point where you need to realise that sometimes then supay, um, as the Greeks say, it's not for you and to move on and to try something else. Um, so uh, timing, hard work, luck, you know, it's all part of it. And we've learnt it time and time again in our lives. I remember my parents, we had a successful business in Westfield, Parramatta. Um, so we tried to replicate it. We tried to open up another business in Westfield at, Horn at uh, Hurstville. But uh, as luck has it, that second business wasn't as good, as strong, and as successful as that first business. Um, whereas if it was, um, our lives would have been significantly different. Uh, things would have dramatically changed over the years and we could have had maybe a chain of businesses. But as luck had it, that second business wasn't as good and as lucrative as that first one. We ended up shutting down that second business and just sticking to the first one and not pursuing any further businesses after that point. That may have been a, bless a blessing in disguise. Uh, we will never know. But we had a crack, we had a go. Um, and made the most of it while the opportunity was there for the taking. Um, so the other thing that the author talks about is that there are patterns of illusion. You know, where human beings uh, try to find patterns in, in what happens and they try to uh, put a formula to success and not don't accept, don't acknowledge, and don't understand and embrace the fact that sometimes luck has a big, big part to play. And if you're lucky and you do, uh, and if you marry up luck with action, then you can get some significant outcomes, some significant results, and you can go on to become famous. But you became famous not because you were brilliant, not before, because you were better than anybody else, but you were in the right place at the right time, made the right decision, and people um, supported you. 
you know, I remember when I was working at IBM, a boss of mine say, said to me, he says, James, it's not about you being the best, but it's about a lot of people wanting you to be good, wanting you to be successful, and supporting and opening those doors for you along the way. Because not always the best person um, succeeds. You know, not always the best sportsman um, is recognised and succeeds. You need a lot of things to happen along the way to make it happen. So in many ways, sometimes the best players, sometimes the greatest potential champions are sitting on the sideline. They're injured. Um, they have things happening in their lives. They have relationship issues. They, um, they have injuries. There are so many things that are happening that stop people from going to the Olympics, stop people from, from competing, and, and hence they never become the world champion. They never become the Olympic champion. They never fulfill their, poten their potential because things didn't go their way. Luck wasn't on their side, regardless of how hard they tried, regardless of, of how genetically brilliant they were. Then to speak in it, as the Greeks say, it just wasn't for them. So there you go. So thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Jim's 5am Club. As you can see, it's a wet, old, miserable day. But uh, for some people, it's going to be a lucky day. Um, for some people, it's going to be the best day of their lives. They're going to be at the right place at the right time. Um, and things are going to go their way or they're going to be in the wrong place at the right time and things are not going to go their way, which are going to be a blessing in disguise. So let's mature, let's be a bit bigger than, um, than, than, um, than what we may be and embrace and understand that luck plays its role. God's will plays its role. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And to just understand that, to respect it, to appreciate it, and to not get carried away with other people's successes. Because as we said, their successes came their way, not because they were brilliant, not because they were great, but they were in the right place at the right time. And, but you, you never know. You know, 10 years, 20 years from now, um, what appears to be success and what appears to be greatness at this point in time of their lives could end up being uh, the making of their misery. So we don't know. It's only at the end of a person's life that you can determine whether or not they were lucky, they were fortunate, they were happy, um, and not along the way, because a lot of things happen. There are a lot of twists in the road. Um, the plot thickens as we get older. So uh, not everything is as it seems. Um, and I guess we should just appreciate it, accept it, and just uh, live in hope of better days, live with positive expectancy, and know that the best times, the best um, days are ahead of us, and to trust in God's will, and to, uh, and to do what we can do um, as and when opportunities arise. Take care, everybody. Have a good rest of the day. As we said, it's a wet, wet, wet Thursday. Stay safe and we'll chat again. Bye for now from Jim's 5am Club. And wherever you can, spread the word about my YouTube channel uh, because there are people who can most definitely benefit from the material that we present on a daily basis and the uh, adventures that we take. And um, we'll chat again. Bye for now.